This may look like normal chess, but it isn't. This is Ouroboros King, a chess roguelike where you can upgrade your chess pieces and get entirely new chess pieces altogether. It consists of several small battles where the goal is to capture all the enemy's non-king pieces or checkmate the king. However, I have to actually capture all their pieces while leaving some of mine alive in order to win. Afterwards, I could get a new piece like a bowman. It moves two or more squares vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So it's basically a king minus a queen. And I can place in my starting position and take on another battle. Every selection has a battle and then I get a reward. This one will be upgrading my units. And now you can see there's a barrier of rocks on the field. Going to be rather frustrating to get through. How about at least start by checking the king and then pinning the bishop to it? And if I want, I could sacrifice my own bishop or not wow just completely ignoring the sacrifice how dare you well the other upside of this move is that i can now get my bowman out putting the king in check well with the bishop pinned i can now attack the bishop oh he's taking my knight yeah i'll grab that back because i know that the bishop is soon to fall and another victory so i could upgrade my bishop my knight or my king oh my knight gets wings my bishop gets a funny hat let's go with pegasus rider it basically lets you do two l's in one move but the l's have to be in the same direction if i win this fight i get a relic my opponent has a viking it's basically a king plus a king and a pegasus rider and you can see the distance of which this can move and whilst i start by getting my bowman into play oh his pegasus is threatening my rook but beside I don't care, I think I'll sack the bowman to take the viking. I have strength in numbers, so I'd want to use it. Right now, I can't do too much exciting stuff. I can put him in check. And in normal chess, this might seem like a bad series of moves, but in this game, you just have to eliminate the enemy pieces while having one or more pieces alive. In normal chess, that does result in a stalemate, but I'm playing the game I'm playing here. Now I get a relic. I can kill my own units. Why would this be helpful? I'll instead get 50 extra gold after each battle. The other one costs 845 gold and my own gold is at 524. Another battle, two Vikings and a Pegasus. I'm gonna start by pinning the Pegasus to the king. I think I'll have to just get rid of it. My bishop is probably my weakest unit, so I don't hate to see it go. I can develop while putting him in check and start to advance my own Pegasus rider. Oh, this is dirty. Bowman down here. Beautiful. <laughs> that was checkmate, basically. I guess it actually makes me take the king, which is fine. It's more satisfying that way. I get the fool. Moves with the same pattern as the last enemy to move. So I just wait until they move with a really powerful unit, and then I get powerful moves. This sounds fun. So now I've got a boss battle up here. Idea the Witch Queen. Queen and a knight combined. Berserker? He's got so much movement. Well, that makes the fool really good. I could start by doing a protected attack with the bishop on Idea. I did expect the check. Look at all this movement I can make. Believe it or not, I actually really like my chances if I just run the king. And now that Idea's moved there, I can put the fool here somewhat pinning. Not fully though, the berserker moved. And this looks like a bad move, but remember the queen is pinned, it can't really take that. And the berserker can't jump over the queen. Now the entire point was so I could get it to be here to do a fork, forcing the berserker to take it so I could take it with the bishop, which is a fair trade for me. Now bishop's done his good job, let's bring him to safety. Now I've gotta get my own rook out of this pin, I'll move my king back here, because now I can advance. And now I admit, my own fool is pretty weak, but I do think I have to keep going for a series of checks, because Idea is one move away from putting me into checkmate, and I need to advance my pieces somehow. That's right, he can capture rooks. Probably mistake that move, though, because that allows me to trap him on the back rank, and very carefully I can push him over a bit. And actually, I don't have any convenient check moves, but the king has no convenient moves either. So what I might do is this. Idea could put me into checkmate if she goes here, so if I move the fool here and Idea moves, I could then capture it with the fool. And I was thinking no matter what, I get Idea's move with the fool. So the fool capturing the final piece, poetic. And now a new set of challenges arise. This map has portal gates. Okay, so my bowman has one place it can go and it's through the portal here. So it would move twice and then move a third time up. Everywhere else is blocked by rocks. Look out, he's got a cardinal. I can start by getting my rook into the action. And now that I've lured his cardinal out there, I can't take it because the portal's in the way. I will defend my rook with the Pegasus Rider. I'll advance the fool just one. Oh, yes. The rook is threatening my Pegasus Rider. I'm threatening his cardinal. I think I actually like this trade. Let's see what happens. Oh, he didn't even do it. That's an even better trade for me. So if I place my Pegasus Rider right here, I can threaten his Viking. And now he's threatening my Rook. 
How about I attempt to make a trade? You can jump over... Oh, you move two times. So he moved diagonally, then diagonally, which is represented by jumping over my rook. Anyways, I will certainly take his viking in exchange for my rook. Okay, it should show it going through the portal. It went through the portal. It just didn't represent it. I can now get my bowman into the action, putting his king in check. I can get his king in check again. My king is protected by the bowman and by king, I mean Pegasus Rider. The portal cleanly lets my bishop change color. It'll hop through diagonally, hop out the other one diagonally, putting the king in check again, and letting me do a clean fork to win the fight. Good thing that was defended because I forgot about the portals. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, wow, that spot was defended, but you know, it works out. So now I have access to a shop. I could buy consumable items. I could buy a sphere of protection to protect the unit for one turn, preventing it from moving. Well, it sounds pretty good for my king. Oh, one of them cost 292 gold. Okay, I'm not buying any more there. I'd rather save my money for new units. I'm gonna get some upgrades. I like upgrading chess pieces. So long range works to my advantage here. I should pin his knight he jumped through the portal then got an additional knight move that's how that works i guess i should have hovered over it i just didn't assume that would happen i would like to properly pin this knight now i'm also pinning this knight thanks to my bowman it's a double knight pin which means that if i play the fool very carefully i can pick up a free knight oh uh, not if he moves the king like that why did i not move him twice up because i'm new oh it's simple i can just undo and then move him here because i have that ability it's obviously the better move oh berserker must be taken consider i could just pick this up for free it's a great deal and now i can take out the knight with my fool and this is how the kingdom crumbles oh i will gladly make this trade and now I get the final take. Looking good. This game is an actual blast. What is my king upgrade to? Moves like a king or like a knight. If he gets killed, his army demoralizes and surrenders. Or the bishop can move like a king in addition to a bishop. My king hasn't been under threat much. I'll just go for a cardinal. Take on a relic fight. What is this? Agent plus? So it moves like a rook and then it transforms into an agent that moves like a bishop? What the? Catapult moves up to two squares horizontally or any number of squares vertically jumping over other units. That's beautiful. I can see my bowman can hit this rook rook through the portal so i almost want to take advantage of that i think this starts by trading off the cardinals so now it's an agent x which means this is unguarded nothing protects that rook rook there we go perfect but now it's a rook putting me in check rook so if he's smart he picks up my pegasus rider which is okay Oh, the catapult's getting me. I'm pretty sure his Pegasus Rider is just dead because the king was the only true thing that's guarding it, but now two things are attacking it. So I will bring myself more into the middle of the board. And I am checking. Yeah, even though this is an Agent X now, the fool has the movement of the Agent Cross. Well, I can go on the aggressive now, put the king in check through the portal. And do I sacrifice the bowman to take out his Agent X? I think there's no need actually when I could just put him in check right here. These portals give my bowman so much flexibility. I think I'll actually put him in check to take out his most valuable piece, in my opinion, the catapult. Put him in check again and allowing me to take his last piece. There we go. Not even worried. The first time in a fight one of your units is killed, destroy the killing unit. So, if my opponent makes a trade, this is effectively worthless. But if I initiate a trade, it's actually a two for one. That sounds really good. Now, I'll take an upgrade fight. I think I like that more than relics. So is a bowman worth two rooks? I would think so. And I gotta do this so they don't. So yeah, I'll get two rooks out of the deal. Or <laughs> not even attacked. Interesting. Oh, I see how he can kind of get out of this. Well, hold on. I think I will retreat my own bowman to block. Because if I don't, he can actually do some really tricky stuff allowing me to not get an advantage. Because I basically stole a rook for free. However, I actually like sacking the fool for a rook. I think the fool is a very worthwhile card to get rid of. Card, unit, whatever. Now, how about I put this rook under threat? It's a bishop now. Okay, well, you're not scary, so I'll just keep putting you in check. I'll advance my Pegasus Rider, narrowing his chance of escape. And this would appear to be checkmate. Thank you. Not often I get to take the king. That's nice. Speaking of king, I get a mounted king, which can move like a knight in addition to a king. It's fine. It allows me to get out of check in more ways. What's at the watchtower? Tabitha the Deceptive. Move like any of the enemy units except the portal mage. I don't have a portal mage. Damn, so it's basically a queen plus a pegasus rider. So I want to initiate a two for one. What's worse, bowman or cardinal? Think about you're going to march the bowman up here, which is a safe spot. 
it does allow me to be put in check unfortunately i just want to make sure none of my pieces can be taken besides the king and since that's the case i'll just move my king to safety right there Oh, disgusting move by the Berserker. Wait a second. Because I have this pin on the knight, can't nothing actually take whatever takes the knight? Like, if I put the bowman into the knight, something takes it, it gets destroyed, and the cardinal gets a free shot on the king. So this is just a free piece. And now I have a discovered check. It's the best discovered check I have. Probably one that lets me attack this Berserker. Now I should watch out. Because the enemy pieces have relics. They can move a friendly unit to a square occupied by another one of their units to swap them. So they can castle with basically any piece. I don't know what to make of that. I'm actually just going to flee this to a safe spot. And now make my trade. Oh, is in fact just a free piece. Being in check is terrifying. Look at all the movement this has. Good lord. My fool being able to move like her barely matters. I need to be very careful with where I move my king. If there's any way for me to set it up for Tabitha to only be able to check me by taking a piece, I still have the spike shield. However, she's very crafty. My Pegasus Rider enables too much BS. So now I see the benefit of being able to take my own units. Why would this be helpful? Anyways, let's see if Tabitha is smart. Oh, she isn't. That's because I can simultaneously block Tabitha and pin her to the king like this. Although the Berserker blocking is dangerous, I think I can go really offensive with the Cardinal then. If I go here, putting him in check, can't take it with the king because the king actually dies. But then that forces Tabitha to take and Tabitha dies. So now I can win. Let's go. You know, the reason why I like this game is because it constantly feels like the mid-game of chess. There's no openings to memorize, and also the game ends really before we get into an end game. There's a bomb! If destroyed, it explodes, killing all units in adjacent squares. Well, let's go for a fast two for one. Uh, huh. Well, I think it then makes sense to get the cardinal into here. Because right now, what are you going to take? What are you going to take, huh? You got to take something. Oh, you can counter check me. What happens if I take his king first? Does it let me? Okay, <laughs> good. Wasn't sure about that. I could get a unicorn cavalry, except I'm too broke. Kind of want another bowman. I think those are really good. Because one thing I can do is actually rearrange my army. So I can get both my bowmans in front and the fool in the back as a defensive unit. And now this fight lets me upgrade a unit afterwards. Crusader. Move any number of squares diagonally forward or vertically backwards. So it moves in like a Y? Anyways, this is a free queen. <laughs> my knight is under attack, but I don't give a damn. Hitting my rook. Why don't I just simply do this? Because <laughs> this is checkmate. <laughs> Basically fortified himself. Entombed. Ooh, I can get a relic because I have no units that can get upgraded. Every three turns get an extra move. You can never move the same unit twice in a row. Or 500 gold for free. I like Cursed Staff. Wait, you can never move the same unit twice in a row. Actually, I don't like that. For a second thought, that meant only during the time of the bonus move that I couldn't move it twice, but that's not the case. Okay, so I got a lot of money. I can buy some valuable relics. So I can pick off the Cardinal with no issue. Pick off the Queen with no issue. There you go. And it's basically over now. I might as well leave him just a fool. Get in there, Pegasus Rider. And I can actually feel fine about this fork because the Bowman protects it. There we go. Move twice the first time you move in each battle. It can't be the same unit. I like that. I guess I could get a bunch of consumables after this. Manticore. Move one square cardinally, then any number of squares diagonally, and a knight templar. Move any number of squares diagonally or vertically without jumping over other units. So I can take out this bowman for free unless the cardinal wants to take it. Oh, I get an extra turn. Wait, <laughs> wait a second. I could have maybe tried to set up a checkmate. Instead, I'll just take out two of his units. Yeah, that's fine too. How about I actually take out the fool now and start picking off his pieces? I mean, this is sad. This is sad, king. Is this showing up means he, meaning he surrenders? Wait, what? Oh, that stalemate. You know, I don't, I don't fully agree with that. It would have been nice to at least have it say what it did after it hovered over. Because you shake hands after checkmate too in chess. Thankfully, I don't really care about the rewards. And at least I now know what that does. That's just weird. So Andromeda of the Stars is the scary piece. Move one square cardinally, then any number of squares diagonally. Or one square diagonally, then any number of squares cardinally? Terrifying. And they have a relic. Their units aren't affected by explosions. Nasty. Well, I think I'll just start by taking potentially two free pieces. I am in check. Wow. 
Okay, how exactly does it check me? Probably from this file. So if I go here, this blocks it. Maybe I could do it with the fool. Meh. Well, Andromeda can go down to here, so I'll leave the fool in that position. Whoa. Hitting the bomb without hitting the bomb. This is weird. Why is Andromeda the Stars not able to go all the way down to my Pegasus Rider? What am I missing? I think I'll block it with the Pegasus Rider, see what happens. All right, the Rook got sacked. Well, now this Pegasus Rider is not safe. Shoot, neither is my Bowman. Oh! Andromeda gets only two moves. So the first option is one square cardinally, then any squares diagonally. The second option is one square diagonally, then any number of squares cardinally. I definitely thought the second move was either any number of squares diagonally or one square diagonally, then any number of squares cardinally, resulting in a three move option. So it's only two moves. That makes it a lot more manageable. I think I'm gonna bring the fool right here to implicitly protect the Pegasus Knight. Losing my bowman stinks, but I didn't have any great options. I suppose if I want to, I could put my Pegasus Rider here, which is relatively protected and annoying. One thing I can do is fork the King and the Cardinal. That's good. I'm pretty sure I have to take the Cardinal instead of going for the fork here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Fool protects this square anyway. I think the play is to make this trade because my Bowman wasn't too good. But the main thing is this square is unguarded. So I'll get the Knight in a pretty good position. Okay, if I move the Pegasus Rider again, I get my King taken. So don't do that. I guess I can move my King out of danger then. It's a bishop now. Wait, but I can take it. I'm trying to figure out if there's a downside to taking it. Andromeda can't really do anything. The fool can't do anything. And we all know the king won't be able to do anything. Okay, Andromeda can take back there. That was the one thing she can do. And honestly, I don't like it. Maybe undo then? Yeah, I need to keep my fool alive just to balance out the Andromeda of the stars. Oh, but if I don't take my Pegasus Rider dies, crap. I mean, I could protect the king and move the Pegasus Rider. Well, if he takes the Pegasus Rider, then I take his fool. That's actually okay. See what happens if I move back here. Okay, I figured it out. I have to go on the offensive. I would love to have the Cardinal go to the other side of the board, forking. Oh my goodness, I can't do that because I would then be in check. I can't even move this Cardinal unless if I want to move it here. So if I fork the General and the Andromeda, Andromeda takes, I take back the Fool, and then Agent X takes the Pegasus Rider, and I have only a Fool. It's a nightmare scenario. I guess I'd have a better King. Okay, I have an idea for a plan. This is a little sketch, but I'm going to move here. Oh, wow, it did the dumbest possible move. Okay, now I can just take his best piece. Okay, game's looking good now because I can pin the agent plus to there. How can I tip the scales in my favor now? I think I'm now going to start moving my king. I like putting it here. There's no immediate checks. It does put my cardinal under attack. I'm actually gonna take an undo. No, wait, it was right because the rook's currently not pinned. No, no, no. I like this because the rook is now pinned. I've got to get the cardinal out of the way now, which is right here. Putting me in check, but not terribly so. I will now gladly offer up a fool trade. Happy to see that taken, actually. Because now I just get this rook. Oh, that was a tough one. <laughs> you know, I think it occurred to me that even if it went down to king versus king, my king would win because it's better. Oh, and this must be the final battle. They can destroy rocks. They can castle any units. And they're not affected by explosions. There are no explosions. It's Tabitha and Andromeda? Andy, dear? Ew. Well, there's no way I can set up checkmate, right? Uh, not with these powerful pieces. So I get a free capture. Isn't like a double check really good here? What can you even do that saves you? You can castle. What about now, though? You can castle again. The griffin put me in check. Yeah, but what are you gonna do now? Castle again. You know what? This is okay, because this is about the greatest rook in history. I wiped out all the powerful pieces with it. And I'm bringing it home. Pegasus Rider as well. Bowman for the kill. It's beautiful. Somehow I feel this is not over yet. Dude, this game is sick. Oh, and it would seem for future games, there's actually like Hades style difficulty where you can change your modifiers to get an increasing challenge score. Whoa, now this seems fun. Oh, I'm totally gonna run this back. I love this game and I hope you guys love it too. More Ouroboros King coming soon. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and peace.